Hey guys, it's Morgan from Racer X Performance Tuning, and just wanted to do a quick video on the proper setup of a three port, also known as a Mac solenoid for your boost solenoid. So here's an example of one, and you can see it has three ports. Number one is on the right side, number two is on the left, and number three right there in the middle. So without going into a lot of detail, the value in a three-port solenoid, or MAC valve as they're often called, is that it provides a much greater boost control over, let's say, something like a manual boost controller or a two-port uh, boost solenoid that comes with a lot of cars. Uh, we can go into more detail about that, but we'll save that for a different video. Now, how you set up the ports on your three-port boost solenoid will depend on what kind of wastegate structure you have connected to your turbos. So here, in a traditional 3000 GT VR4, where we have the turbo that has the wastegate right attached to it. So right down here is one of our turbos, and we can see our wastegate is attached directly to the turbo. In this situation, this uh, three port solenoid is in here upside down, but in this situation, port number one on the right side here vents the atmosphere. Port number three in the middle, if you follow this vacuum line, it goes to a boost source. The boost source is coming off of my Y pipe here, which is just before the throttle body. And then finally, the last port, port number two, this is the one that's going to your wastegates. So this vacuum line is going to go down here, and there's a T that goes to the wastegates for the rear and the front turbos. Now, if you have a setup where your turbos are separated from your wastegates, in this example, you have a DR800 turbos and the RTO wastegates, which are not connected to the turbos on this car. So, one turbo here, one TO wastegate back here, another turbo's back here, and the other TO wastegate is over here. In this scenario, the setup is a little bit different. In this case, port number three in the front here becomes the vented port. Then, port number one on the right side here, if you follow that vacuum line, it's going to go right here, also again to the Y pipe, and that's going to be the boost source, or the boost pressure source. Then finally, port number two on the left side is again going to a T, and this time that T is going to go and separate itself and go to the top of each of the teal um, uh, wastegates. That's how you set it up your wastegates are separated. And that's it. Yeah.